Jim Johnson here from Johnson Customs LLC. Today we're going to work on homemade bulletproofing your car. Though today we won't actually get into the cars themselves, we're going to work with multiple layers of polycarbonate plastics and seeing what they can't stop. Now we're not expecting to actually bulletproof anything, but bullet resistance is kind of cool I guess. If you can hear the Katy Perry in the background, please ignore that. Here we go. Hey guys, my name is Kenneth Johnson. Today, first up, it's going to be the 22 long rifle. We're going to be planting that round onto an eighth inch thick of polycarbonate. All right, so for most devastating effect, we're going to be using point blank range. So, 22 long rifle, went right through it. Of course, that's kind of a fast round, I guess. Maybe we'll try pistols on it later. Uh, next up, we're gonna try quarter inch. Still 22 LR. See what happens. So again, went right through it. Uh, don't wanna be sitting behind that. Next up, we're going to try 3 eighths. So 22 is still punching right through the 3 eighths polycarbonate. Keep in mind that's point blank, but still. Next up, we've got abrasion resistant half inch polycarbonate. They claim that this is more designed for bullet resistance. I don't know what makes it different. Maybe it's higher density. We'll try it and figure it out. The abrasion resistance is for using it as a window, windshield wipers, plants, acid rain. I don't know, but uh, we're gonna see what it does. All right, so 22 went right through it. Uh, just for the hell of it, we're going to try some larger caliber rifles and see what they do to it. Um, next step, I guess we'll hit it with some pistols. We've we'll we got to try and stop something. So. All right, next up, we're going to try a 1914 artillery 9mm Luger. <laughs> 9mm went right through it. After we run through some pistols, we'll try some longer range with some rifles. So we're going to go to a slower pistol now, 45 ACP. All right, so we've got a 1911 45 ACP, the Pulp Fiction gun. All righty, so we stopped the 45 ACP. All right, so I had an idea. It's going to be doubling up on this stuff not that really you know, that's my idea but I'm, I'm being inspired by other people's ideas to try to do this knowing that a Humvee's armor is roughly four inches thick um, this is not surprising to me so we'll try this see if we can't stop the nine millimeter after it goes through this to that So the 9mm of course went right through the first piece and it was stopped by the second. It's pretty cool I guess. You know how to armor your vehicle against pistols. Alright, so we're not having much luck here. Pistols are going right through. 22 went right through. So we're just going to go to a full size rifle, 300 Win Mag. We're not going to go any bigger than that because it would just turn it inside out. To give it a fighting chance, we're going to do three layers of the stuff and I'm going to go to 100 yards. All right, so 300 wind mag went through this piece of plastic, went through this piece of plastic, went through this piece of plastic, hit the cinder block here, hit the cinder block here, 
zinc past that and then hit the uh, AR500 behind that. So once again, Thor targets have held up, but the plastic has not. For that, we decided to shoot it with a 223. By we, I mean Darren. Uh, it went through all three of them. So at this point, I'm going to say that I'm just not going to waste my time arming my car against 45.